oh my Jesus, give us eyes to see. You're the God of humble glory, reign in majesty. Jesus, oh my Jesus, give us eyes to see. Remember, our Creator, our King, our Shepherd, who is our great Father, who loves us so much. And who is this Father that we are calling? Come and join with me and let us sing, Our God.
God is healer, awesome and power, our God, our God. Our God is greater, our God is stronger, God you are higher than any other. Our God is healer, awesome and power, our God, our God. And if our God is for us, then who can ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what can stand against? And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what can stand against? Then what can stand against? Our God is greater, our God is stronger, God you are higher than any other. Our God is healer, awesome and power, our God, our God. And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what can stand against? And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what can stand again? Then what can stand again? Amen. Our God is greater and stronger. Well, thank you, Peter. What a powerful song to start our worship from, break straight from the Word of God from Romans chapter 8. I am so, so glad you're here today, and I hope as you sung along with that first song, you get a little taste of why this is the very best place you can be at this time of your life. And we thank you for joining us today. Well, today, as you already know, uh, Peter is going to be leading us in worship and music. He also has the family that will be coming along to help us in that. Our message time, we've got a little different twist on that. In a moment, in announcements, you'll hear more about that. And then, as we always do, after the service is over, we have together time. So I hope you can hang around a little bit. Uh, we get to share with one another, catch up, and we also have some prayer rooms. But now, here's Grace with more information about our church. Grace? All right. Thank you, Pastor Tom. Uh, good morning, everybody. Hope you're having a fantastic Sunday. Uh, yeah, so let's get into what's going on at the church this week. Um, as always, we'd just like to start off by wishing everyone a warm welcome, especially if you're joining us for the first time. Uh, we'd love to follow up with you, so please head to our website, churchonthecorner.us, and fill out a connection cord, or you can reach out to us through any chat function on any streaming platform. And yeah, we'd love to follow up with you and check in with you. And our Okay, so for some church uh, business matters this week, annual report packets are being mailed out. So uh, there will be a Q&A regarding that next Sunday after the service. And um, back from their break, home group is coming back this Thursday at 6.30 p.m. And additionally, we have the annual celebration happening on January 31st. Um, yeah, we're going to be celebrating on our virtual patio this year. So looking forward to having everyone there and uh, bringing in the new year with our church fam family and celebrating together. Um, all right. So on to today's service, as Pastor Tom mentioned, things are going to be a little bit different. Uh, we will be finishing the financing series with um, or fi na navigating your finances God's way. Uh, the topic will be falling into financial crisis. And this message is only accessible through Zoom. So if you are watching us on any streaming platforms, we would love to have you join us over on the Zoom meeting. Um, that way you can watch our message on uh, the final installment of the finan financing series. So links on our website, churchonthecorner.us, and love to see you there. Good morning. Scripture reading today will be from Psalm 67. May God be merciful and bless us. 
May his face shine with favor on us. May your ways be known throughout the earth, your saving power among people everywhere. May the nations praise you, O God. Yes, may all the nations praise you. Let the whole world sing for joy because you govern the nations with justice and guide the people of the whole world. May the nations praise you, O God. Yes, may all the nations praise you. Then the earth will yield its harvests and God, our God, will richly bless us. Yes, God will bless us and people all over the world will fear him. Well, thank you, Michael. Thank you, Grace. And now let's join together and present ourselves to God through prayer and in worship. Father, we thank you as we've begun this service so much to thank you for, worship you for, be encouraged for. Uh, Lord, in our opening song, we heard uh, the truth of Romans 8.28, that you are for us. And if you are for us, nothing can prevail against us, even when it looks like that's going to happen. And then, Lord, we've read this uplifting scripture from the Psalms about how good and great you are, and you are in control and you are God of perfect justice and righteousness. And Lord, how we as a people and a nation of world hunger for that, God. And we are so thankful that you are a God of that and love and so, so much more. I pray God now today, knowing just those little nuggets and kernels of truth and reality about you, that we can just lose ourselves in worship and be renewed, God, in our faith and just Lord, be filled again with your Holy Spirit, filled with the joy of your salvation. And Lord, filled with that which each person needs personally, that touch from you today, God. So they might be able to leave here today, ready to face the world and all that, that goes with that. We love you, God. We pray our worship is acceptable to you. And Lord, we thank you again for your son, Jesus Christ. What makes it possible to literally come into your very presence and have the presence through you, the Holy Spirit, live within us. We are such a blessed and fortunate people about all the peoples of the earth. But Lord, we pray for any and all those that don't know you, that, that Lord, through this service today and watching it later through different ways, God, that there would be people come to faith and that would continue to ripple out uh, again and again, Lord. We pray this in Jesus' name and we thank you all in Christ's name. Amen and amen. 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 And now I'm going to mute everybody in five, four, three, two, one. Good morning, Church on the Corner. We have paired songs that we hope you guys will enjoy. Um, this first one is special to my heart and special to the youth band because it, it was our first song. And I know that times are very difficult right now, but we hope that through our service in leading worship, we will continue to encourage you in your walk with our Lord Jesus Christ. So please sit back, relax, and join us in worship.
Angelic, as Pastor Tom said. And now, hey. everybody, wow. five, four, three, two, one. Well, thank you, Abba Noah. Wow, that is just powerful, uplifting music today. Well, we have a little different message time today, as I alluded to at the start. If you were with us during the last month of last year, we looked at a video series called Navigating Your Finances God's Way. And we did that for a couple of reasons. One is our finances are so tied to our identity and our security. And God often has a hard time getting us to trust in that way. Good thing we sang that song today. But also when we get into the Christmas time, we tend to maybe get a little looser on our finances. And then we come out, start the beginning of the year. And Uncle Sam wants his share too. And so we have been providing this to you to help you navigate your finances among various different ways. And by the way, this series is provided through Right Now Media. We have a subscription on a church and we would be more than glad to provide you a free account to it. It has many, many other topics in there, but you can watch the whole series. If you missed it, watch it again. You can share it with friends. And so today we're going to be looking at navigating God's, uh, your finances God's way during crisis. And there will come a time when you have financial crisis. That's just the part of the, the journey of life. But we're going to learn from God's truth today that even when you enter into that season, God's got you. And so Laurel's going to share with you our breakout rooms, how we're going to handle that. Uh, it's about a 20-minute message, and I think you'll find it very, very helpful. Laura? All right, everybody. In a few minutes, you'll all be in a breakout room.
So we are going to give you several minutes to do a couple things in a moment. One is if you have a prayer request, please go to chat, put that in there. If it's private, just for me, put that in there and I'll make sure to act upon that. We encourage you to go to our website, churchinthecorner.us, for a couple of reasons, just a lot of good information there. If you're our guest today, thank you, thank you, thank you for visiting today. In the upper right, there's a connection card. We'd ask for you to fill it out so we can be back with you. We think we've got a good story to tell you about this church and why uh, we can further be a blessing to you. I hope, too, you'll consider the online giving. The button's there at the bottom on churchinthecorner.us. But before you go there, I want to share a little story about the difference your giving is making. And we have a tradition in our church at the end of the year as we enter into Advent and the Christmas season called Making Jesus My First Gift. And in that, we uh, collect funds to bless a lot, a lot of people. And here's the story in the backdrop of Making Jesus My First Gift is back in the early days when I got here, uh, they would take up a secret collection and and that money would come to me. And I got to tell you, it was a great blessing because I was a starving seminary student. And uh, it always shocked me every year on the generosity of everyone. Uh, along the way, I got married to Dorothy and I had to split it. And uh, that gave me a thought that rather than split it, maybe we should just give it to God. And so we started, I forget how many years ago, to transition that gift that way to bless people through this church. And so I want to share with you a, a, a screen showing you just how much you bless so, so many people through your giving to make Jesus my first gift. Would you bring that up, please? Yeah, so there's the screen, and you generously gave $2,850, and you can see the various different people. We have a number of people outside the church that help us. Uh, for example, our groundskeeper, keeper, the maintenance people, our bookkeeper, our cleaners. We have this wonderful maid lady that comes too. And there on the right, you'll see our many ministry partners. Uh, we just love Pastor and First Lady Yim of Sharing Church. Uh, we, we helped a missionary, Carrie. We blessed all our worship leaders that blessed us so good. In the lower left, we have uh, former three former pastors and a former missionary. We also su help support the retired ministers and missionary offering that blesses uh, retired pastors uh, way beyond just our own. And then we are very committed to missions, both globally, spiritually, and those in our community. Uh, for example, we helped uh, through your giving to help the homeless cause. We also helped with the schools here in Albany, and we also helped provide support to the Albany Community Foundation that does a lot of good work in our community. We helped support Juan Martinez, our compassion child there in Columbia, and there's a few other things I'm not remembering there. But you can see on that screen, what we did too, is we blessed all of them, you can see the amounts, but we had some leftover funds and that went into our care fund. And so this is a fund that we can use to help people that when sometimes it's just, a, it's a helping hand financially that way. I wanna share with you a little bit of feedback very briefly. Uh, we heard back from another number of people saying, thank you, thank you, thank you. But there were two that really stood out to me that I want to share with you their thoughts. Both of them have to be retired pastors, and we have three living retired pastors upon whose shoulders we stand. Uh, the first is a pastoral couple from the 70s, Larry and Jenny Campbell, and here's what they said in their little note. Church on the Corner Family of Faith, once again, you have given us encouragement and love, which is so needed in this very isolating and lonely time. And not only are they isolated now, I think they're in their 80s, but, you know, I'm sure they look back and they wonder, you know, did, did it count? Is it meaningful? And you assure them each year we send that check with the card and the notes that uh, they're, they're not forgotten, they're loved, they're encouraged. And this year in particular, because of shelter in place, that meant even more to them. We got another note from Sherman and Kathy Moyer. They were my predecessor in the 90s. Sherman had a stroke at age 70 that forced him from the pastorate, so pretty young age. And here's what they sent. Dear, they called us dear family. Thank you for the money gift. And they underline this. You are family to us. We are in God's family together. We are doing well. Both of us turned 90 in 2020. We also celebrated our 66th wedding anniversary. 
Our health is fair, but God takes care of us. God richly bless you in the new year. And so once again, you touched someone that gave their life to this church. And now they're in their 90s. They're isolated. They're struggling with their health. They know the end is near. And you brought a lot of joy, a lot of blessing to them. So thank you. So we're going to give you three minutes. We're going to run a video for you to do all the things I just said. See you back here in three minutes. We are just about at the end of our formal corporate worship time. We're going to close with one final song and blessing. And then we have what we call together time. I hope if you have time, you can hang out a little bit on that. Can we just share, catch up with one another, encourage one another. And then we have a couple of rooms set up. One is a prayer room. So if you'd like to either give prayer or re receive prayer, uh, you'll want to stay for that. And so now here's our closing song.
all I care to see And we can change this world forever If you will join with me someone go who hooray i gotta tell you i have felt the holy spirit throughout the service and y'all can excuse me when i do i get a little weepy what a powerful close of that truth so as we close i want to remind you that you have been reminded once again of your identity in christ you have been encouraged to fight the good fight for your faith and you have been equipped for the battle of faith. And what that means, church, is as you leave here today, you go out and you take every shot and goal to be the living expression of God's good news to your oikos and anyone else. Go be holding God, holding you, and smiling in deep, deep delight. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.
Amen. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. Amen. 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 I finally got it. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm ending the live stream now.